Okay. How the frig did I mess this? Seriously, it's like... So near the entrance. God damn it. Okay. Well, better let finding it than never. Uh. Okay. Well, I guess this is where I start the next video. <laughs> so, oh. Hi, big guy. Yeah, so, this is what I was looking for. Kill this big guy, and I get 20 core fragments from him, which is the amount I need to reactivate the ancient gateway. So, yeah, so welcome back. <laughs> let's, uh, firstly, let's eat. And now, let's deal with this guy. Okay. Best strategy I've found for him so far is to box him in, mostly. Okay. Well. There we go. This way, I can deal with the little guys separately from the big guy. This makes it much easier to deal with. Come on. Please die. Do us both a favor and die already. Jeez. Guess I took having the super strong weapons for granted. There we go. I went looking all the way underground and I missed it all. Great. Just great. Well, at least I didn't go all the way down to the core of the planet before I realized this. That's something. I'll look at that later. For right now, I we went back up to the ship and everything. Ugh. All right. Well, got the core fragments and it sounds like it's daytime now. So all I gotta do is run over there, fix the ancient gateway, and then I should be good. Okay, here we are. Got it. Okay. So, let's fix this. You appear to have successfully activated the gate, and it seems another message is coming through. Please come. I urgently require help. The universe depends on it. Use this ancient gateway and meet me in the Ark Ruins, just past the outpost. How does this person know I'm here? Let's go. There we go. First official case of space travel, even if it isn't by ship and just by, like, warp path. Teleport? Warp breath? One of the two. Hi, dog. Just realized this looks like a gas station. There's a gas station out in space. The frig. There's all kinds of people here. This person. I only just barely escaped from Earth as it was torn apart. I'm lucky to be here. So this is another Earth survivor, so I'm not the only one. That's helpful. 
Greetings. The entity that destroyed Earth could strike other worlds. We must devise some means of fighting back. Good advice, dude. Yeah, no, I don't need a bounty counter. I'm not a Florin, so... Yeah, sure, whatever. Alright, cool. Huh. Set. Last time I played on this machine, this shop wasn't open yet. I guess that's something that carries through uh, between the games. Hi, fellow Earth refugee. Hi, fellow Earth refugee. Oh, you're not following me anymore. Fooey. Totally nice. Gonna have a crew member already. You get bigger ships when you have more crew. Here we go. This this stuff is cool. This stuff is cool. The hologram is a beautiful and mysterious depiction of a being. Helpful. Look familiar, guys? Lots of tentacles. This hologram shows a many-limbed being destroying planets. That's familiar, too. Here we go. Hello, dear. Is that a matter manipulator you're carrying? Excellent. So you're a protector. I'm sorry to say, perhaps the last after the... The terrible destruction of Earth. It's sadly inevitable that we should meet now. My name is Ether Bright, retired Grand Protector. That was her picture up in the uh, entry, entryway. I left some years ago. An impossible decision, but my research could not be neglected. I discovered things long forgotten that weigh heavy on the present. Ooh, got some music. Long ago, there was a force known as the Cultivator. It maintained balance in the universe. Universe. Under its influence, harmony reigned. So it was for Aeons. But this tranquility proved finite. A being arose, one of hate and destruction. It was the Ruin. The Ruin could not abide life in any form and reap destruction upon the universe. It fought to blot out all life, and would have succeeded, but for the sacrifice of the Cultivator. The Cultivator rose against the Ruin, and succeeded in sealing it away. Oh, we got some statues in the background. But in doing so, the Cultivator exhausted its power completely. Before its last energies dissipated, the Cultivator gifted its six chosen races with the precious artifacts. With precious artifacts. These six artifacts, when united, form the key that opens the gate to the ruin. The defenses are crumbling. We must unite the artifacts, reach the ruin, and truly destroy it. This is a lot to take in, dear, and a huge request to make of you, but I would like your help. Dramatic music. Hehe. <laughs> the artifacts are scattered across the stars. I can't find them alone. We must find them and eradicate the ruin before other planets go the way of the Earth. Gee, bring up the Earth, why don't you? There we go. This is nothing short of magnificent, but yeah. Very special purpose. Yeah, no. Duh. There's more over here. There's the other two holograms. Historical counter or mythical story? I'm saying historical, considering the great big gate over there with six holes in it for round artifacts, like in the story. Just heard the story. Guess I should have come over and scanned this first. Oh well. That's fine. I had no idea. This is a cool, though. Ancient holograms depicting ancient battles. That's fun. Okay. First things first, though, dear. You need a ship in good working order. Yeah, I know. My thing's busted. 
The only thing it works on is sail. Okay. Penguin Pete. Let's go find Penguin Pete. He's a guy with the penguins. Obviously. Duh. I'll need food first, though, actually. I've only got a steak and some poultry. It's not enough to... It's enough to fill me up now, but... Right, there's that. There's that. I'll, put, I'll cook the other one later. This is a nice view. Oh, is that dust? Those are dust particles. Cool, they even include those little details. And the stars twinkle. Twi twinkle, not trinkle. Twinkle. Yeah, here's Pink Wimpy. Icarus Mining Facility. Mission obtained. Yeah, this is the first mission. This is as far as I've played in the other game that you guys saw in the first video. In, you know, at the beginning of the video, probably going to do a fair amount of editing. Editing. Yeah. But first things first. Is that a wizard? Hi. Indeed, difficult to walk in. Yeah, no surprise. Jeez. Good job, dude. Why are you following me? Alter tech abilities. I don't have any tech yet, so. I still need mud. Mud. Yeah. Seriously, it shouldn't be so hard to find mud. Okay. Yeah, new teddy bear. This will open up a shop where I can buy ores and stuff. So. And there's this guy. Copper bars. I'm getting his... What the frick? I haven't seen that before. What's this guy? I had some wee traveler ask me if this was a costume. Well, it looks like a costume, dude. Also, I just talked to this guy I wonder if he means the penguins. They're kind of tiny. Yeah, I'm going to forge some metals first. Um, yeah, I came back to the ship before going back to find the pop tots. The pop tot room. So this is an engineering table. You use it to craft other uh, crafting stations. So. Beam down. Wait. There we go. I need to but I need to make something to get myself more food with more easily. Okay, here we go. There's not a whole lot of room in this ship. Okay, here it is. Let's put that where the dirt is. There. I love the guy. You're on the way. Move please. Thank you. Let's see. Hunting spears. Hunting bow. Ice string. Oh, I can make that easy. Let's see, is that enough? Spinning wheel. No, I need 40, so one more. There we go. There. Okay. Spinning wheel. Cool. So string. Let's see. Hunting bow. Damn it, I need copper. Okay. Yeah, I definitely need copper. All right. Guess I'm going down to go get mud. Beam down. All right, so I went this way first. Is this mud right here? Seriously? Yep, that's mud. A little bit in the background, too, it looks like. Yeah, it's definitely mud. Thank you. Got, ooh, ten. There's some more over here, too. Let me 
some more plant fibers. Don't mind if I do. I use these up like something. I use these up something awful. Let's see a little bit still there in case I need to refresh and get more. Oh yeah, this is a lot of mud. Never would have thought I actually needed this. Oh, I just thought it was junk. Guess I'll have to save at least a stack or so. Stacks go up to a thousand anyway, so they hardly do me much harm. The once I've gotten things built and got I can forge armor, and then I can go to the Icarus mining mining facility. The first I'm doing tech. Tech tech tech. Okay. Got some mud. Let's go back up to the ship and make that furnace. Okay. Furnace. Now I need a campfire. Oh. <laughs> More assassin coming in. It seems you have discovered fire. My data banks tell me you're the 714th billionth person to do so. Well done. You can use the fire to cook food. <laughs> Oh, that's not bad that I like that. I just love that that sassiness. It's great. All right, let's go ahead and get me some items forging. I think these things forge fast. Okay, it's more than enough to get that first. Thing. Hopefully I don't need a uh, gold for some of the tech. I don't remember if I do or not. I think I need at least ten of each for it. Here we go. There we go. Okay. Hopefully this should be enough for the tech. Okay. Here we go. That's definitely enough to get the first tech piece. I want to try to get all three before I go to the Echoes mining facility because there's a few rooms you can't get to without some of the tech. Okay. Here we go. Dash tech. Let's accept and try this out. I already know how to do this, but you have to go through it anyway, so. Doesn't matter. Okay. There we go. Much better. Much better. Used to having this. Oh. Bit slow there. Good job, me. There we go. Okay, now these things. There we go. Got through that one. Won't be able to get through that. Oh, just barely made it. Cool. All right, there's the first one done. So that's the dash tech. And he'll let me keep it for free. So he's a nice guy like that. Okay. Set. Okay. Pulse jump. Let's try that. Yeah, yeah, I know how to use the pulse jump. 
I've done this before. It's been a little while, but I remember how to do this. There you go. Let's see. Perfect. No mistakes. That's a first. Usually mess up on the last jump. Sweet. Okay. This will make things significantly easier, probably, when I get to the Icarus Mining Facility. Alright, done. Oh, I need a... Uh, I do need gold. Hmm. Well... If I get the teddy bear for those guys, I should be able to open that store, and then I'll be able to get gold from there, hopefully. So let's see. What do I need to make the teddy bear? Cotton wool. I don't have it early enough. Okay, so I need to start a farm. I need to do that anyway, just simply for the matter of food. Which also means, okay, ooh, let's see, campfire, craft, let's get that meat cooking up before it rots. Probably not too safe to put this in the cockpit with me, whoop, didn't mean to do that, can't use that yet. But it's better than nothing until I get a stove or like a kitchen counter sort of thing. There. Okay. Now I need a, f a hoe. Okay. Okay. Hoe. And then more timber yeah okay so let's go down to the surface again why is it always dark seriously I always come down when it's night or well, at least it's getting brighter. That's something. And this guy's already got a farm. I guess I could just expand on it. Yeah, I think I'll just expand on it. Though, uh, I will need to do some mild terraforming here. Can I do that? Okay. Don't mind if I do. fill this in so it doesn't look too ungainly. Thank you. It's probably good enough for now. So. You have to use the hub on each block separately, so that's a bit of a pain. Although that might just be because I'm still kind of used to Minecraft. Okay, let's start off with that. Then watering watering cam. <laughs> and then um I have a pearl pea key seed. Don't I? I'll go check real quick, hold on. So plants that there. Plus it's kind of saves space. There we go. Thank you. This takes a little while to water with, but it could be worse. Okay. Now that's dealt with. Let's deal with some seeds. Okay. Got some corn seeds. 
got some tomato seeds, cotton seeds. I usually organize these by height. There's that. I do. I hope you don't mind adding to your farm. Thank you. There we go. Of course, figures. I still need the hoe. <laughs> there. Okay. Hi, little hobby fish dude. Potatoes are more filling. Let's do that. And then wheat. Coco, I'll save. So, potatoes, carrots. Wheat, then finally rice. It looks like I'll have just enough space. I might even have space for the cocoa. Cool. Yeah, literally just enough space for all my seeds so far. Sweet. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm just uh, taking your food. Okay. Now that's planted. I'll need to come and check up on it every now and then. Uh, okay. Let's see. Anvil. Got enough iron. I just need some timber. I temper for like everything. It makes sense, I guess. But okay. Yes, yes, I. Here you go. There's food that he's eating. There we go. Just barely fill shy of filling me up. Okay. Let's see. I still have those platforms. Yes, I do. Made these earlier while I was exploring the caves. Used it to get some of the ore I got. Still kind of miffed that I uh, missed the pop tops, but at least I got some ore out of it. There we go. Okay. So. Okay. I need lots of fabric, but I'll be able to build the puddle armor, which is, uh, See, it's kind of Japanese. Okay. I just need tons of woven crap. Fabric. <laughs> so I'm gonna need tongue slips today. Start with 15 and see how that does. You can always put the extra away. It's, uh, okay. okay. I need string too. Five. Five. Yeah, I just need the string and then I'll be able to make all of them. Which is good. Let's make the cotton wool war over here too. Okay. So puddle chest guard. Puddle hat. And puddle trousers. The next set up is a uh, the pond set, which looks distinctly like samurai armor, which is pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> look at his little hat! It looks like he's wearing a pyramid on his head. Her head. Sorry, I forgot my character was a girl. How dare I? Probably doesn't matter so much. I mean, it's a freaking alien. They might not have the James same. Gender expectations. Hi! You got a little loft area now. You like it? Here, hold on. You like it? You like it? You like it? 
That's, uh, that's kind of funny. She looks less like she's crouching and more like she's crouch bowing. Also, the helmet hides one of her eyes. Isn't that disorienting? I don't know. Be worse. Alright. Um. Where's the rest of the armor? There it is. See how she looks. Not bad. I still prefer her, uh, green wear, but I guess this... Ooh, it's flowing. It's got a little skirt. It's nice. I like it. Okay. There's that. That. Oh yeah, I can sell you now. Spear I'm keeping. Spear I'm keeping. I'll keep that until I get a better long range weapon. So, everything not on the toolbar. Sweet. Okay. This is nice. I'll be able to go straight to the Acrest Mining Facility. Maybe. Um, hmm. Maybe I should go to mining some more instead. Um, you know what? I think what I'll do is I'll do some mining off camera. And then I'll, like, list how many times I died or something. Sorry, I heard a weird sound. I'll list how many times I died or something before I continue in the next video. That way I can do the Eucharist mining facility in one video all by itself. And as the videos don't get too long, as it doesn't going to be probably mishmashing some clips together now. So, yeah. Yeah. Let's wait till then. So I'll wait to do that in a separate episode. I hope you guys weren't too mad at me for missing that passage that led to the Pop Tots. I doubt it, because again, there aren't too many of you guys watching my videos. But uh, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You can't expect to be a famous YouTuber. Seriously, though. I just have too high expectations, I guess. Anyway, yeah. I'll, uh... Do the Eucharist Mining Facility dungeon mission thing. I'm going to call it a mission since there are actual dungeons in the game. That starry door from earlier is what leads to them, I think. Oh. Can I? Cannot add bookmarks. I'll have to wait till the navigation's online then. Okay. So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Um... If there is a next episode, there probably will be. I'm planning on doing this fairly often, so we'll just have to see. So, see you guys, and bye.